everyone. I hope you enjoyed your holidays, had a lovely Christmas and a good start into the new year if you celebrate. A few days ago, I posted a poll in my Instagram stories asking if you would be interested in seeing what I got for Christmas this year. And yeah, as the majority said yes, I decided to sit down and film this video. Let's start with the biggest one, which is also the one with the most beautiful packaging. As you can tell by the box, it's something from Dior. And yeah, they always do so good at Christmas designs, not only when it comes to their packaging, but also their store decoration is incredibly beautiful. You probably all know the shots of the huge white and gold Christmas tree and star decor they put outside the stores and shop windows all around the world every season. All right, let me show you what's inside this beautiful box. I really love this little star ornament that they put here. You can put it on your Christmas tree. Let's open it up. So I will try to not ruin, okay, too late, <laughs> this beautiful paper. Also the dust bag comes with a golden lettering when you order around Christmas time. As you can probably tell by the dust bag, there is a handbag inside and it is the Dior saddlebag in the classic size in grain calfskin uh, in the color latte with eight gold hardware. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I've been wanting this bag for quite a while, um, but I was never sure if it is wise to get it because of the shape. I think it's Probably not the most practical bag, but yeah, it's simply beautiful. I'm so in love with the design. It is so special and so unique. And um, yeah, I can't wait to wear it. I also used to think that this might be one of those friendly bags that are hyped for a season or two and then they will disappear quite fast again. But I was definitely proven wrong because the Dior saddlebag is still all over the place. And yeah, every time I saw a picture of somebody wearing this bag, it made me want to have it in my collection too. What can I say? Um, yeah, I'm over the moon. I was gifted this bag this Christmas. It's so beautiful. I'm so in love with the color. It's a beautiful, warm, off-white tone. I also really like the shape because as I said before, it's so special and it doesn't compare with any of the other bags that I already own. And yeah, I also really like that you have many different possibilities to style and wear this bag. Talking colors, there are the most beautiful shades to select from. I also really like warm taupe, amber, cognac, grey, blush and of course also the classic black one, which is always a good choice. So yeah, it's so hard to decide and I'm glad that somebody else made the decision for me. And I'm super happy with that color because it basically matches every outfit and it's very easy to style. The bag comes with a relatively short handle, so you can either wear it as a handbag or as a shoulder bag, but there is a possibility to add an additional long strap to it. And yeah, I will definitely get such a strap. I just need to decide for which design I will go for because there are many options color-wise as well as when it comes to different patterns. There are straps with the oblique pattern, there are straps with the Christian Dior lettering, and there are even straps with the Toile de Joie pattern. Um, yeah, but I will definitely uh, visit a store to have a look at them and then decide which one goes uh, best with my bag. I will wear this bag for a while now and then I'll maybe do a little review with you to let you know what I think about it after having it used for a bit. Um, yeah, so let's continue with the second gift. It is another little something from Dior, which has also been on my wishlist for quite a while. So let me unbox it. So we have here a pair of sunglasses and it is the Wild Dior model. Um, I think it is a bit of an older model because you can't find it on the Dior website any longer but some retailers such as Marc Parisa still have it available. If I find it available somewhere I will definitely include some links in the description box of this video if you're interested in this model. Um, yeah, but what I really like about it is the shape. Uh, I don't have any rectangular sunglasses in my collection yet and I think it looks very modern. There are many options out there, but this one is not too rectangular, so the shape is not too extreme, if you know what I mean. A good and a little less pricey alternative to these ones would be the Anina Bing Napa sunglasses, which would have been my second choice uh, if I wouldn't have been so lucky to get these ones. On the side, there are some beautiful details. So we have here the Christian Dior lettering in a 3D kind of optic. I'm wearing sunglasses all year round. I think they always give a final touch to your outfit, so I can't wait to wear these. 
these. Before we move on to the next gift, let me show you how they look when I wear them. What do you say? It's a little bit of a different shape than the ones that I usually wear, but yeah. I think you always have to get used to a new shape of sunglasses and it always takes a while until I start to like them. But I think they're really cool. What do you say? Let me know in the comments. So next up we have a gift in an orange box. So you can probably also tell right away which brand this is from. Louis Vuitton. And yeah, this one doesn't come in such an extraordinary Christmas packaging as the other, but there are also some Christmassy details. Um, so we have here these golden branding details on the ball, as well as the golden Louis lettering on the gift tag. So let's open this up. And let's have a look at what's inside. So this is the classic monogram shawl in the color Dune, which is a beautiful, slightly shiny champagne shade with some subtle golden details. It's woven of a soft silk and wool blend, very lightweight to wear, so you can use it all year round. I've been loving my Gucci scarf, which is very similar to this one regarding the material, so comfortable to wear and styles up every basic outfit, so yeah. This one is another nice addition to my accessories collection. This shawl is also available in many shades. I love all the neutrals. Among my favorites are cappuccino, natural, brown, ecru, gray, gray, charcoal gray, and black and white, of course. It is so hard to decide for a color, and so again, I am very glad that somebody else made the decision for me. Such a beautiful gift. Um, it is perfect neutral shade. I think it's very luxurious with those golden details. And yeah, again, I can't wait to wear it. Last but not least, we have a little something from Chanel. It is a limited edition eyeshadow palette from this year's number five holiday collection. It has four shades, from a glittery white to a light gold and a rich gold shade to a smoky black, perfect for festive occasions. Yeah, this year the Chanel number no. 5 perfume celebrated its 100th birthday, so throughout the entire year there were collections paying tribute to the most classic perfume of the house. In summer I also managed to get some goods from the sought after Factory 5 collection and I was also super lucky to get a hold of one of the very popular water bottles when I visited the pop-up uh, at the Chanel Beauty Boutique in Vienna. A very nice gift for collectors and lovers of the brand as I am, so I'm also super happy to have this one and yeah. I will definitely use it. I know that there are some people that just keep those things forever, but I think it is a pity if you don't use it. It's so pretty, the shades are very shiny, and yeah, it's perfect for some festive makeup looks. All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed watching this little unboxing session. Let me know what was your favorite, or also if you want to share what you got, I'd also be interested in that. All these material things are of course lovely and I'm super thankful for receiving such beautiful gifts. But yeah, in the end, the most beautiful gift is being able to spend some quality time with your loved ones, which is nothing that we should ever take for granted. Never forget that there are people out there having a hard time not being able to see their family and friends, living in strained family conditions, or maybe not even having someone to celebrate with or dealing with a loss. Yeah, we should always count our blessings and be thankful for every moment that we can spend with our loved ones. I would like to end this video by wishing you all the best for the new year. May all your dreams and wishes come true and I hope that we will also be able to finally surpass that virus that has affected so many of our lives the past two years. Let's make this year a good one. Cheers!